What is up everybody? Hope you're doing well. Now, I thought to myself, like, I'm having a bit of fun in Cavalier 3.1. So I thought, and also like a few other Cavaliers as well, which I'm going to do like a few videos of, just like some champions I enjoyed using. So yeah, the great thing about playing in uh, 3.1 is using Cosmic Champions. As soon as they get a buff triggered off, it means that they're able to get a Vigilance uh, buff, which means they can uh, nullify, not nullify, kind of suppress and interact with the, uh, and quell the, uh, the Force of Miss which seems to be something that the uh, enemy gets because you get faulted on you. So, using Odin. Odin's a good kind of champion to use. You can use so many champions. Cosmic Ghost Rider as part of the kit. And any champion that gains loads of buffs, like Venom, uh, for exa example, Venom Pool, they're all really good against this. But what I wanted to kind of like showcase some uh, some like, footage of Hercules in action because uh, Hercules is a... Uh, is a lot of fun so uh so yeah um we're gonna do that in a minute but it's just cool to use some like cosmic champions just showcase that angela does the business building up those fury passives quite nicely and just interacting in a great way also hercules off the sp1 that's true sense which deals with um as a counter to uh to miss in any case so that's good which you're gonna see in a moment first of all there he is Ooh, flexing away uh, and also the swirly whirly good to have uh, connection problems in mcoc it's kind of a given at the moment um for just interaction purposes so yeah, throwing a special attack is uh, is kind of like the way to go. I was going to throw an SP1, but I thought, nah, let's not do that just yet. So what I do is start with the Odin pre-fights and just get myself rocking and rolling. SP2 rotation. It's a good amount of damage. I do not use Suicide Masteries with Hercules. It's definitely something down the line I'd like to use. But you can just see, like, just absolute devastation right there. We're taking on a, um, a Invisible Woman. So yeah, uh, rotate around SP2. I've already had an SP1 up, as you can see, and just gonna start some in the process. It's just Hercules is great. I've got a rank three version. I will be rank four in mine at a later date. I'm not one for getting knocked down. I don't like being knocked down uh, with Hercules, uh, just because like uh, I, I know like people may kind of say, oh, you know, about the feet and stuff, but and complete the feet. But I'm just not interested uh, with that. It, when I do it, like you can see, my health stand is 16% because I've kind of gone for that. I'm like, just it's just not in my kind of like interest maybe in different fights and stuff i may be more interested but uh nah not not that interested in stuff and as soon as i, I tried it, i think they're for an intercept in order to get like another feat completed but didn't kind of come off so it's better to be safe than sorry with it and uh but still doesn't really matter i don't think it just it's too much of a worry what i'm trying to do right now is uh first of all got my intercept feet that's kind of like done and then trying to like wait, wait make sure like that stun lasts for a lot longer on agent venom just going to get my rotation in especially as i reach uh, nine um of the um the persistency with hercules i'm just going to start a chill on this fight because i just don't know what venom uh, agent venom is going to do because he's going to like look like, he's going to tenacity and it's like, well, I've better to be again, better to be safe than sorry. I don't want to lose a champion just because of my stupidity. Yes, it's Waken. Yes, I'll get Immortal uh, pop up and go unblockable. But you're going to see that mainly in the last fight, I want to say. So Gambit, um, again, building up with Gambit. I'm going to smash him. Absolutely smash him up. We've got 10 of the persistent charges. And again, another kind of like fun, just like build up um, type uh, interaction. Look at this. Just this damage is just like beautiful. Yeah, I'm in the block. Yeah, I should be a bit more kind of like proactive with intercepts. But uh, I'm just I'm just chilling on it. I think when I get to the last kind of little bit, I'm just chilling thinking, hey, you know, I just need to do this, this, and this big SP2. Boom. And the job is good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that damage. Now into, uh, this is where it gets funny with infamous uh, Iron Man or Tech Doom. So Tech Doom, uh, like I, I just thought, I, uh, you know, I... <sighs> let's just demolish him so the main thing to do uh, on the demolishing factor is i'm just going to stay in my kind of like block at times and just like build up to the sp2 not the greatest way to kind of like showcase any kind of like oh you must do him right there take you down like that but i got immortal and i thought let's just go let's just be aggressive get nice and close so that immortal stays on get the sp2 again aggressive look at all this damage right here and we're going to go into that getting a stun boom 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 still stun boom 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 and hitting a big sp1 which is going to smash and a load of damage boom there we go and that was nice that was honestly it's nice to see I'm, I'm enjoying hercules i don't really play him that much the problem i've got with champions is that i find that when there's too much hype around a certain champion it just kind of like suppresses my interest and then i kind of go off a champion this is why the same thing that happened with ghost and uh, same thing happened to a few other champions as well and why it's nice to kind of go like Okay, well, now the hype has not sort of died down because Hercules hype is always there. It's just nice to kind of like, I don't know, just, just kind of enjoy him at my own leisure in different types of areas. 
but he's great for that particular quest because it's just straight up getting that uh, those kind of unique buffs, those unique buffs. You could even do the same thing with, with Heimdall in the team, but uh, look, Odin with those pre-fights, getting those buffs early on is great. I don't know whether or not anybody would want to make him uh, a herald with Galen, but again, that's down to a personal preference and... I don't know, footage is out there for all that if anybody's done that. But yeah, a lot of fun with Hercules in this particular game mode. And uh, yeah, lots of cosmics as well. Thanks for watching this video. Just a little kind of like fun, kind of like Cavalier type video. Probably like something I've saved for the weekend. Thanks for watching. Make sure as well to check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one whenever that will be. Have a lovely day, everybody. Cheers. Bye-bye.